so here we are again and this is acting tip two. Um, in acting tip one we talked about the photograph and on the very beginning level um, approaching an agent. Um, the photograph uh, is very very important because it has to be you in your natural state. So we're going to talk about the photograph now and then the CV because even presenting a CV at the very beginning level if you've done drama at school, if you've made a short film, if you've done a 48 hour film project, project put my teeth in, um, you know, any, anything like that is good. In fact, I once heard a very well-known casting director say that in this country even, um, on-set experience as an extra is also good experience. Whereas in London, for example, you would never put that on your CV because extra work and becoming an actor is considered very different and there's almost a snobbery factor to it. So, yeah, so your CV, your name, your age, your height, your special skills are very important. So, for example, if you're good at stunts, if you're very athletic, um, if you're a horse rider, if you um, you can play the guitar, any special skills that you have, if you can sing, very important to go on the CV. But also another thing is, don't put, as I've experienced before in casting, don't put, um, yes, I can ride a horse if you can't, because you, you may get that role and you get on the horse to film your scene, the horse can feel your fear and the horse bolts and there's chaos. So um, be very careful. Uh, I also did a commercial with an actor once in London. He, um, he was a, a very good actor, a very nice guy. Well, he said he could sail on his CV and he got a job as the Havana man, with Havana, I think it was Havana, um, a cigar. And they were filming him on the yacht and he was standing there in a white suit and um, the director on another boat called ACTION! And um, so he's doing his Havana moment, whatever it is. A gust of wind blew and the sail, whatever it's called, the boom, knocked him sideways. He didn't know what the hell he was doing anyway because he couldn't sail. Knocked him sideways and no, he didn't fall off the boat, but he got concussed, ended up flat out um, on, on the deck and I never forget him telling me, had a really embarrassing accident in his white trousers. Because it was such a shock. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't say that you have these skills if you don't have these skills. You can improvise a little bit, but not too much. Okay, don't fabricate too much on your CV. Um, I've been guilty of in the past, I remember having a walk-on part in training films in England and say, giving that part a name, like, oh, that's, we'll call her Mary Smith because that looks like you've had a proper part. Okay, so uh, just be aware that, um, just be aware that it's important to be, you can be a little bit creative, um, but you need to be, if you're really serious about it, about becoming an actor, you, you really need to be looking for any kind of experience possible in short films, joining groups, the Actors Ensemble, for example, on Facebook, people that are doing things. Often in my classes, my acting classes, people have stayed together and they'll feed each other with inf information about what's going on, um, doing lots of, of, of stuff that is unpaid outside your paid work is also really important because that helps you get a show reel together, but that's another tip for another day. So... Um, that's very basically important in the beginning. Get a CV together, even if you're just going to be applying for an extra work agency. I say just, uh, that, that doesn't really mean that, you know, but basically what it means is you're starting out and you're starting on your journey. And later on your journey, you may move to another agency um, and explore acting roles more, main characters or featured extra roles. Um, in England, there's many tiers. I'd say, I, I always say a hundred, but that's just off the top of my head. But there's many different tiers of agencies. There's the agent that you get when you first leave drama school um, that comes to the showcase. Um, and then there's, there's many different, different levels of agencies until you get to your Noel Gay or London management. 
that represent, you know, the Emma Thomases of this world, the Hugh Grants, the, some of the English or the, the great actors. Um, and so you're tending to move agencies more. Here, you can stay with the same agent for a long time because depending on the level, the agencies are getting the same scripts. So um, even if you just want to see if it's you, you just want to do some extra work, um, I can give you the information of the different agents and who's a good agent for you to go to approach um, if you private message me. Um, and um, that's acting tip two.